What's going on, everyone? This is the beast, the beast within Gabriel Knight Mystery. And let's check out the prologue. Dean Erickson. Joanne Takahashi. The beast within. Jane Jensen of Sierra <laughs> back in the day helmed a lot of great games so corn <laughs> yeah who did the uh this interesting art, obviously filmed and then put into this grainy kind of uh, kind of medium here. <laughs> Wasn't a lot like it back in the day. I actually never really played. I think I played this before to some extent, but I certainly never beat it. No, you could give up it. Come. What's the kid's name? Oh, is that the beast? Beast ain't within right now. Beast is just outside, but I feel like that's gonna change. Hence the game. I love this epic over-the-top orchestral arrangement we got going on here. Colm! Is that the kid's name? Scared Esless. Also stunned. Peter Lucas, Richard Rainsford, Nicholas Wolf, Muser, Fred Combs, Clay Partley. That's a good name, Clay. And others. Did any of these folks ever go on to do other things? Do we recognize any of these people? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, but there's your prologue. I learned absolutely nothing, but let's get into it. See how this goes. Chapter one. Hmm? No way we're clicking past this. <laughs> Schloss Ritter, Rittenberg, Germany. A Rittersburg, excuse me. This is already amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, the kid's name is not Colm. The mom said Colmen for German. Let's go, come, let's go. Thank you. Home's still a good name, I stand by. Oh. That has the look of an angry mob. Orderly though they may be, don't be uh, don't be fooled. I don't know what year this is meant to take place. So, oh, okay. He has a flashlight. We're narrowing it down. Typewriters. Huh. It's a little meta. The food burgers. Wait a minute, there's no ink this whole time? Oh, Son of a bitch! I've been at this typewriter for 10 years! Oh wow, okay. That might be what happened. Check your cartridges, kids. Come in! And I... There are some people here to see you. Me? Yeah, if you please come. 
What's going on? You've been acting strange all day. Please, just come. And don't forget your talisman. You must wear it always. That's what the court said. Oh, man. Damn thing's heavy. All right, what's this about? Orderly mob. Well, hello there. Shouldn't those be torches? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Not in here, Knight. And this is Tom Green. Uh, forgive our coming here so late, but we must speak with you. What can I do for you? Oh, this is my cousin, Sir okay. Uber Sepp. He has a farm just outside of Munich. <laughs> I will tell you the truth, Herr Knight. We have come for the Schattenjäger. I see. What makes you think you need a Schattenjäger? It is because of Sepp here. <laughs> Two nights ago, his wife goes to the window of the house to call in their daughter, Tony. It is getting dark. The light outside is not so good, yeah? My name's Tony. She sees Tony some meters away, playing in the grass. And she sees a wolf. It is huge. And it is moving towards the child. Wolf vision. Walter screams to the child warning. Look out, Tony! And that is when the beast strikes. Tony! I recognize that guy. I think I know that guy. He died quickly. Zip here hears his wife screaming, comes running from the barn. He sees the wolf. Goes inside the house to get a gun, but when he comes out, no wolf. And it has taken part of the child with it. Oof. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it is very bad here, Knight. That it is sucks why we the come big to one. you. Uh, haven't the police been notified? Well, yeah, naturally. The police, they think it is wolves escaped from a zoo. They search and search, but they find nothing. This is not the first such killing. But if it is not stopped, it will not the Guy's be a the massive last. beard behind him. Uh, I'm not really sure what you want me to do. The killer is not wolf. It is fair wolf. You must hunt it down and kill it. It's like, I gotta get some... I need some ink. I'm going to Staples, bro. What are you talking about? What makes you think it's a werewolf? The wolf looked at me. Its eyes were human. It knew what it was doing. It yeah, that knew. guy's been in a lot of stuff. The Tom... Fake me out, Tom Green. I'm really very sorry about your daughter, Herr Huber. I have told them that you are the new Schattenjäger. You wear the talisman. Why'd you gotta go do that? Are you the Shatnyaga now? Or are you not? I am. We do not know you, Herr Knight. But we have known the Shatnyagas for many centuries. It is to them we turn in trouble like this. Except here is family. I love that guy. Will you come? Just look around, see what you can see. Huh? Sepp and his wife go north to be with her mother. You can stay on his farm. All right. I'll look into it for Can't you. Can't say no to a, to a sad mob. See. I'll pack your things. Great. Great. Oh, Thanks. I'll meet you in the village in an hour. Oh, thank you, Herr Knight. Thank you. <laughs> Did like 20 people have to show up for that, though? They could have gotten by with just the, the old man and Tom Green, maybe his wife. I'd be like, thanks a lot for telling me I was the Furfenhagen or whatever. All right. I think we almost have control here. Oh, there we go. All right. 
interesting. It's like it's kind of like a play on the uh, Quest for Glory 2 sword icon right there. Does that do anything? Oh, here's our save. Music, I think, is fine where it is. It's very epic. I think pushing it any higher would be irresponsible. Big movie. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for that. Maybe a more of a conventional movie. Let's save. Um, say Gabby. Hey, Gabby. Uh, we got plenty of tapes. Always good to have lots of tapes in this nondescript year. Splicing, loading. Oh, my God. I'm in over my head here. What is this here? Uh, we can see the movies again. That's exciting. Not the big movie, though, I noticed. This is our inventory? Okay. What do we got? Take a look. There's our... The family talisman. Wolfgang gave up his life to get this back. I was just a boy. All right, so that's what got us into this whole mess. But, you know, it's flashy. It's, you know, jewelry. He's a, well, he's a jewelry guy. He likes it. This is our uh, business card, obviously. Writer slash researcher slash werewolf slayer investigator detective. I don't know. We're a long way from Bourbon Street, though. I'm uh, I'm guessing that. That's That's got to be expensive, though. Is that not the point of this game? And then, <laughs> I like he has two addresses. New Orleans or Rittersburg, Germany. All right, one or the other. If I'm not in one, you'll find me in the other. All right, what else we got in our pants? Got our tape player, I think, yeah. Hmm, that's going to be a mechanic that I don't like. And we got our little black book, I guess. No, our memos. My notebook. My notebook. Having trouble. IDing this guy's accent. I feel like maybe it's a nice Louisiana and Germany split. Which makes sense. Isn't that convenient? You're gonna have to use like Backlash. That's a, that's a bad name. He's supposed to be a hero. Blake Backlash. Can I uh can I convince you to change that name there, Gabby? Alright. Cool. So we got stuff around the place. Let's walk around, check it out. I take it the Hube is a Catholic. I'm going to say, don't stab Christ. He looks like he's been through enough here. I take it the Hube... I is there nothing else to do here? Okay. I can't read much of it, but they give the name of the zoo. It's in Thalkirken. The name of the detective on the case is Lieber, from the police station near Prinzer Gentenplatz. Lieber. Let's see if we can turn on some subtitles. Uh, oh, there we go. 94. Pretty much around the same time the game came out. Oh, look, there's our score. Fun. Like we walk away from that. I can't I read! Can't read. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Anything on the back? Nope. Yeah, let's let's see if we can. I didn't see any subtitles. Is that maybe not an option? Not necessarily accurate. Uh, come on, this is a Steam game. You can't crash on me. Okay, apparently they can very easily crash on me. Let's open that again. That's why we save often and early, whether it's Roberta Williams game or a Jane Jensen game. Save. And yeah, we have that same like 10 second delay as we get an actual cursor for some reason. You think, I have this on Steam, you think they would kind of like vet these problems and bugs and things like that, but I don't know. Apparently not. Nothing else, I guess, maybe on this screen we can see if there's settings that we can tweak to get. No, there's really not. Accessibility wasn't really a thing in the 90s. Sorry, everybody. China. China. Our homie. Our homie. <laughs> uh, anything else? What else we got around here before we head out? We said an hour, so we got some time to look around.
added some stuff. Oh, look, we added a whole mess of stuff. Got our dagger, a couple letters. It's nice. Don't know if I'll bother looking at those right away. What else we got there? Key at a rabbit's foot. Might need some luck. What do we got here? At a night, the keys to the car by the door. I guess that's what we grabbed. Uh, better not drive inside Munich. Drive road 96 to Lockham. Pack, uh, park the car and take the U-Bahn, maybe the Autobahn from there. Thank you for helping us. Or just the U-Bahn. I'm sure Bahn is a pretty common German word. Mm -hmm. I don't know German. I apologize in advance. <laughs> I know you're so disappointed that I look... I don't have anything to write about at the moment. Plus, we told everybody that we were hanging out. <laughs> Gabby, you're so vain. But you do have really nice hair, so I will afford you that. Uh... All right. I don't think the Yubas want me in their private bedrooms. Mm. Fair enough. Guess we got everything we need. Let's save again. And now that we know that crashing is a thing, grab that jacket. I suppose that's what tending those window boxes. Man, any other Sierra game, that'd be in my pants by now. The Ubers have a nice setup here. A bit domesticated for my taste, but. Starting nice. to. Kind of lock into that Nolan's accent a little bit more. I was hoping for a Mercedes, <laughs> but this will have Fair to do. Enough. Lovely nature sounds in the background. <laughs> Wouldn't want to run their hands through that head of hair. These woods go back a ways. Plenty of space to hide. Mm -hmm. Wonder if he's saying that for our purposes or someone else's. These woods go. It's a water trough. Ground's a bit muddy over here. Let's get some mud, right? I didn't actually mean for you to get some mud. This isn't King's Quest Three. Ah, print. Hmm. What do we think, gang? Probably doesn't match your hand, bro. Jesus. Okay. As big as my hand. separate to that last bit? Nope. Oh. Hold up. Blood? Hair? Semen? What is it? All right, hopefully not semen. He's put that in his pocket. You're not even going to let us know what that was? Fine. We'll dig in the inventory. How is it not there? Oh, he put it in an envelope. Farm hair. Hmm, how luxurious. The rarest type of hair. Just looks like reddish hair to well, me. I'm gonna need help analyzing. Second analyze rarest. It. The rarest being that on Gabby's head. Luxurious locks. All right. What else we got in the house here? Old sink. Zement! I could probably translate that one for myself. I could be wrong, but I think this bag contains cement. Okay. Chanel. Chanel? What? Quick. Quick drying cement? Uh, okay. Let's find out, right? All of a sudden, this is Mr. Wizard. This is very important. Uh, 
And now we have a bucket of cement. Anything else we want to do while we're over here? I guess we need to like use this somewhere. Oh, the, uh, maybe we can fill out that print. We can get a uh, a sample for the uh, the detective, possibly. Did that light up? Ah, uh, there we go. Maybe not. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I had my doubts about this guy at the start, but I don't know. Some damn good werewolf detective work. Yeah, fill that out. It'll take a minute to set. Pour the paste into the paw print. Nothing of interest in there. I'll be the judge of that, Gabby. I guess we're good, though. A metal pail. Uh, clearly recorded that at a different time. They're like, ah, oh, voice actor to Gabriel. We didn't get that last line. Mind doing it over the phone? Has that been enough time? Let's see how quick this quick drying cement is. Got it? Brilliant. Wow. That was fast. German efficiency right there. All right, anything else? Yeah, it's a water trough. trough. We can't, I guess we would be driving that way anyway. All right, let's save. Let's just call this farm. Hopefully there won't be another farm later to confuse us. All right, get your keys Mercedes. out there, Gabs. Sunny Bonds. Look at that, 15 points already. Just flying by. VW. Oh my god. Alright, they said... What did they say? They said avoid Munich. Take the 96? Or maybe it was the S6. Uh, wow. Couldn't they have given me a driver? Between, like, coming here to write a book and fight werewolves? <laughs> you know. What's the purpose of your visit? Eh, uh, writing a book, fighting some werewolves, you know, as you do. That might, is that the only place that I can actually go? Right now, can I go anywhere else? <laughs> I hate when games have subway puddles. I think this is the only time I've ever played a game so far with a subway puzzle. So we go to Marion Platz or Lockham. That might be where we are right now, actually. Well, it seems like we only have a couple options. We can go to the Olympics. The Olympic arena. I don't know. It's got a Marion Platz. There we go. No werewolves here.
check all my stuff real quick. Inheritance tax been been paid. Oh. oh, nice. Cool. Good for Gabby. Grace to Gabriel letter. Identify the clatcher. Cabbage's but a miracle picking up and it's going to be going through in case it wasn't. Oh. Gabriel, I've just notified the Catholic Church about a miracle. Things have actually been picking up around the shop. We've been going through stock like, well, like a real store. I keep expecting the candid camera guys to pop out at any moment and say, just kidding. In other acts of universal randomness, the voodoo murders is up to number 20 on the New York ah, Times bestseller congrats. list. Yes, the tastes of the American public can be a terrifying thing. In any case, your US bank account is blossoming. Not unlike the desert after a fluke storm. The page. If you don't mind, I'd like to use a little of the money to fix up the shop. Your gran is fine, but misses you. Mosley has been hanging around, making himself a real pain in the butt. Fortunately, I need only bring up the bald detective Mostly in your book, all 240 pounds of him, and your pal turns red and is out the door in about five seconds. Things are organized here. Just waiting for your decision. I think you can find a buyer if you want to go that route. I know you hate to write, but I need to get a feeling for what your plans are so I can make some of my own. I haven't seen or heard of anything here that seems relevant to this Schottenjager business. Take care. Grace. Hi, Grace. Hope we don't hate to write. That's our livelihood. Well, the part that's not investigating werewolves, but uh, anyway. Barely started manuscript. We looked at that. That's our business card. Uh, is there anything in our wallet worth looking at? My wallet. It actually has money in it these days. Yeah, but it's Velcro, bro. You're an adult. Isn't it time to upgrade a little bit? No offense to everyone with the, uh, watching this who might have a Velcro wallet. I had one for many a year. Cuckoo clocks. Ah, F and hate them. <laughs> I just wanted to... Out of nowhere. Cuckoo clocks. Very good, Gabriel. Cuckoo mm, clocks. That one, too? I, I don't know. Okay. Cuckoo well, clocks. <laughs> you started off pretty strong. Maybe later. I've got other things on my mind at the Fair moment. Enough. I'll take that as a promise. I need to use the, the phone booth. Okay, that's not the phone booth. Oh, that's the door. Never mind. Swiss and German watches. I've already got a watch, thank you. Why isn't it in our inventory then, Gabriel? Just saying. Fix your hair. Huh. Ooh. That must be the famous Munich glockenspiel. Must be. That must be the That must be the famous Munich glockenspiel. That must be the She almost seems to be watching me. Creepy. She almost seems to be watching me. Anything else while we're around here? Rat house. That's a town hall. Riddersburg has one nice. too. Nice, I know that from playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Check out my series on that. Fluff is mine. That game's a lot of fun. Almost looks like the Maryland flag, but yeah, German colors as well. Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't understand that stuff even hmm. when it's in English. Lots of Nietzsche and... I like that the game lets you just kind of window shop. <laughs> Not a lot of games let you do that. Just nice change of pace. They're busy. They're busy. 
I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. I'd give it a shot. You mind if I enjoy this for a moment, do you? It's nice, I like that. Nice MIDI guitar. I mean, no, real guitar. Sorry, sir. Kind of a fun little variation on when the saints go marching in. Oh, yeah. Gabriel Knight games always feature people playing when the Saints come marching in. Fun fact. Thank you, surprise. Dinner Strabe. Strabe. Dinner Strabe. You get lost in this city. I tell you what. Just more buildings down Another this line. Another line that he had to record after the fact. Nothing else around here. Check the... Even their trash cans are clean <laughs> in this city. That's the Germans for you. I guess it's all pretty linear, ultimately. Call this town. Did I go in here yet? Oh. Oh, that's when, is that when I looked up? Yep. Yep. Yes, it is. And I don't think there was anything else going on. All right. Cool, cool. Is that speed up? Is that what that was? I don't know how much time we saved there. Germans, always in a hurry. I thought he was going to say something very different, very derogatory. Germans, uh, I hate them. Alright, finally someone we can talk to. So, uh, what's good today? Just kind of holds up a... Yep. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Hack flush. That sounds yummy. Weisswurst. Six marks. White sausage. Yum. Very convincing. White sausage. Yum. Got here. Oh, sinister. It's the werewolf's office. Ooh. Looks like she's doing some window shopping. Jan? Herr Knight is here, um Sie zu sehen. Herr Knight? Uh. Ach ja. Ja, senden Sie doch herein. Ah, uh, from the Jane Jensen games. All right. It's a night. So good to finally meet you. Oh, well, it's good to meet nice, you. Nice uh, assistant Please, you got um, there. Hey, Ubergrau. <laughs> Hell, you're just a pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my age. Well, I, I hope you don't, you're not disappointed. Oh, me? No, I, I just never had a family lawyer before. I guess I was expecting Matlock or something. <laughs> So, you finally decided to visit Munich, yes? Yep, I'm here doing some research. Well, anything at all I can do to help. My secretary and I are at your disposal. Thank you. Let's uh, grab his mug to start things off. I think that's just going to click on him. Is there anything? <laughs> just stare at him awkwardly for the next seven hours. All right, let's talk to him. Here we go. Look at that. Options. 
I suppose that's your name on the marquee. I'm sorry? Ubergrau, Hoffman and Schnell. Ah, uh, actually, no. Um, this is my grandfather's firm. I'm just a junior partner. And I, my assignment to your family was no insult. I was chosen because of my English. Um, I took my law training oh. at Harvard, you see. <laughs> Hell, son. I, I don't care if you're a junior partner or a mail clerk. I'm just glad somebody's taking care of the paperwork. Um, you know, the firm has the utmost respect for the Ritters. I will do everything possible on your behalf. Appreciate it. Nice. Right. Is there anything special I should know about Munich? No, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, you've picked up a little German, haven't you? You've been here, what, um, almost a year? Uh, I don't get out much. No. I, I, I mean, I have been here that long, I, but my faculty for languages leaves some to be desired. <laughs> well, most Germans speak a little English. If you need anything translated, you can always bring it to me. Good to know. Your letter mentioned that the title transfer for the Ritter estate went through? Uh, yes. We had a bit of a task proving that you were a legitimate blood heir, but um, well, that's all settled now. I must tell you, we were beginning to get quite worried about the Ritter holdings. My, but we've had a policy, my grandfather really, of um, waiving our fees for important old accounts, but unfortunately the government is not so generous. It was quite a miracle when you appeared, Mr. Knight. <clears throat> Prodigal son makes good. <laughs> mutilation killings. Always good to end a conversation Do on that. Do you know anything about the mutilation killings? The mutilation killings? Well, no, I... Oh, my God, Herr Knight, is, is that what you're researching here in Munich? I read your last book, you know. <sighs> really? Well, that's above and beyond the call of duty. Not at all. I love detective fiction. Philip Marlowe, all that. The uh, voodoo murders. That was based on a real case, was it not? Loosely. So you know nothing about the mutilation killings? Well, only that those missing zoo wolves have attacked and partially eaten people out in the country. If you are researching this case, and I, I would be happy to assist. It's rather exciting, isn't it? I mean, you don't plan on getting too um, close to the actual wolves, I hope. I'd rather huh. not. <laughs> I'd rather Thanks not. Thanks for the offer. I may take you up on that. All right. I feel like you should have at least a German-English dictionary by now. All right. I don't have anything else to say this right now. This is incredibly awkward, actually. I don't know why I'm still sitting here, but I don't know German for I have to leave. Let's go. Well, I guess I'd better get going. Well... Enjoy your stay. Yeah, just that. Paperweight. Anything else while we're over here? Here go, Dad. Which way did I come from? I feel myself subconsciously picking up a little bit of a, uh, a New Orleans drawl a little bit. My boy said, which way did I come from? Back. Oh, it's the exact same place. All right. That's me, Gabriel All Knight. Right, thank you. I was confused. Is this public transportation or where I left my... Okay. Change log. I went back to the farm after that first episode because I couldn't do anything else. And it turned out I just hadn't read a newspaper which talked about, I think, like something about werewolves at the zoo. So now we're going to go to the zoo, and that should bring us up to speed. So let's do it. The German zookeeper. Being a little, a little creepy. I don't know why. A little suspect. Everyone in this game is suspect to me. Feeding the hounds.
Hmm. All right. And I'm sure we'll show up right here. All right. We got our little map of the... Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is about the European wolf. Canis lupus lupus. Canis lupus lupus. Canis lupus. European wolf. Adjust this ever so slightly. European wolf. So can I go back in that same way? It's a good thing that we were present for uh, the, the feeding. That must be the entrance to the wolf habitat. <laughs> it's so clearly marked. Alright. That must be... I don't think... No, that was fine. I didn't mean to leave. Let's check out the wolves. I don't think the public's allowed in there. That's not up to... We're the... We're the wolf guy. I'm not sure what it says, but it's not the exit. Exit is Ozgang. It's one of the few words I do know. Canis loop. Canis. I guess we can look. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, wolf. Come on, boy. Hey, wolfie, come on. Come on, wolfie, wolfie. Come on, come on. Get the heck over here, will ya? <laughs> Wolf's not buying it. Like wolf hunter or no, I am not impressed. You got another tag? Hey, wolf. Come on, wolf. Come on. Come on. It's like that, is it? <laughs> That's the extent of his expertise. Hey, wolf. No? All right. I'm going back to New Orleans. Mm. If I could get some wolf hair, I could compare it with the hair from the farm. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we did pick up a sample in that first episode. Are we sure we can't get in there? That must be the entrance to the wolf habitat. Oh. There's this creeper again. Maybe he can let us in. Just explain we're an expert. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. Great. Mind if I ask you some questions? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the face I always make when someone agrees. Oh, here we go. Have you worked here long? Uh, Tomas, almost one whole year. A year? Wow. I noticed you were pretty calm walking in that kennel. Guess wild animals don't bother you, huh? The wolves, they're lazy during the day. Oh. These wolves are fascinating, aren't they? I tried calling one over, but they weren't too obliging. Yeah, some people try that all day. Is there any chance you could take me inside the kennel? I'd really like to see one of the wolves up close, kind of a research thing. No way. No one will enter the kennel without authorization. I understand. Rules are rules. Probably not the first time Gabriel's heard that. I suppose you were around when those wolves escaped. <clears throat> no, I don't work at night. But you must have been here the next day, right? That people were pretty upset, what, with the police and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that day was super crazy. Can you tell me about it? Tell you what? So, how'd the wolves escape, anyway? Well, Fences. Dr. Klingman says the gate was left open after the night feeding. What do you think? The gate is heavy, it shuts itself. Maybe something was in the way. Maybe a rock. I don't know. 
I'm only glad it was not me there. Huh. The boy who works that night has been, you know, murdered. Oh, fired. Fired. Happens in the States, too. So, what do you think about these killings? Pretty scary, huh? Do you ever think those two wolves could do something like this? I think he's gonna say. I don't believe it is possible. Hilda and Parsifal were fine with me, just like all the other wolves. Hilda, she liked to play. She was so young still. She did. Can you get those monkeys to shut the hell up? What do the two missing wolves look like, anyway? Hilda was pretty. She had much white on her chest. And Parsifal, he was bigger, sicker, more in the chest. Uh, he was five or six years old, maybe. Much darker than Hilda. Dark? Dark what? Dark gray. Most for gray. And most of the wolves here are. Hilda was light, but they get darker when they get older. Is that right? Guess that's it. Any organ here here? So you carry a walkie-talkie? Huh? The zoo is big. Who normally gives you your instructions over that thing? Kitchen, sometimes the health unit. For something really important, a Dr. Klingman himself will call me. Dr. Klingman? Who's this Dr. Klingman you mentioned? Uh, Dr. Klingman is in charge of the mammal division. So I should speak to him about seeing the wolves up close? You can try, but he won't let you. Perhaps. Where could I find him? In the administration area. Thanks. Hey, thank you for your time. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know, Gabriel's pretty damn charming. That uh, exchange notwithstanding. We'll see if Dr. Klingman can, over here this way, can withstand it. That southern charm. Must be him. Come and see. Can you hear helfen? I'm afraid my German isn't very good. My name's Gabriel Knight. I'm an American novelist. What can I do for you, Mr. Knight? I'm researching a new book, and uh, I hear you're the expert in these parts. Could you spare a moment? Please, sit down. Thank you. Thankfully, everyone speaks English in Germany. <laughs> Could I ask you some questions? Yes. Thanks. You don't mind if I record this, do you? That's fine. So, you're in charge of the zoo's mammal divisions? Yes. What kind of training do you need for that, Doc? I realize you Americans hate titles, but people refer to me as Herr Dr. Klingmann here. Herr Doctor will also do. Sorry. I have a doctorate from Heidelberg University. My field is animal behaviorist. Fascinating. I see you're particularly interested in wolves. Yes, I'm quite well known for my wolf research. You must have been horrified when two of your wolves escaped then. Yes, it has been very unsettling. Hmm. What kind of wolf research do you do, Herr Doctor? I study wolf society here and in the wild. Any insights? Only that there is a purity to nature which human society lacks. Meaning? Life, reproduction, death. In nature there is a purpose to it, even if that purpose isn't pretty. We humans have forgotten our purpose. We have? Yes. Does a uh, male lion say to the female, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid to make a commitment. Huh. 
Does a female wolf uh, run off and leave her offspring to the male because she wants to mate with another wolf? Do hyenas need psychotherapy because they are guilty about their thieving nature? You have a point. Which I'm afraid I have overstated. Not at all. Do your fellow scientists share your views? <laughs> Not often, no. Fortunately, I have found others who do. Huh. Care to talk a bit more about... No, we can't probe that a bit more? Come to see how long the awkward just head nodding will... Oh, that's it. Man, Gabriel's so damn disarming. You notice that? <laughs> that is awkward. I love that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can't stand much more of that. Back to the wolves. I was speaking with one of your boys out front. Uh, uh, Greg, was it? No, there's no Greg on staff here. Do you mean Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, right. Anyway, he's the one that said to talk to you. Because I was wondering if there was any way I could get a closer look at one of the wolves for research. I'm afraid this is not possible. We don't show our wolves to anyone. We must protect what privacy the creatures have. Really? Well, gosh. I guess that's that. Do you mind if we talk briefly about the missing wolves? Is this relevant to your book? Oh, yeah. You see, wolves are major characters in my new novel, and this case is quite unusual, isn't it? I suppose it is. Very well. Um, actually, I know very little about the case, but I will tell you what I can. Appreciate it. How long have the wolves been missing? It's been about two months. Jeez. Whew, that's a while, isn't it? It's strange the police haven't seen hide nor hair of them, so to speak. Believe me, your sentiment is shared by the German public. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think the zoo wolves are responsible for the mutilation killings? That is yet to be proven. Because <laughs> I've been wondering, uh, what else could it be? Wild wolves, maybe? Unfortunately, there are very few wild wolves left in Germany. Most were killed off by hunters decades ago. Most. A few remain in the Alps, but so close to a city like Munich, it's highly unlikely. Any other suggestions? I'm afraid I'm as confused as anyone, Mr. Knight. Fair enough. Million dollar question. What I don't see is why wolves, if the killers are wolves, why wolves would attack humans. Wolves are predators. Most carnivores are potential man-eaters, given hunger enough and opportunity. But weren't the zoo wolves raised among humans? Yes. And therefore, they are not afraid of us. I suppose. How does a wolf choose its victims? Have you ever heard of the language of death? No. You may have heard that wolves often choose the young, the old, or the sick as prey. Until recently, many thought this was some sort of natural selection going on, um, survival of the fittest. But now some of us are finding it is much more complicated than that. We have observed, for example, wolves surround a sick moose cow. The creature was helpless, yet she stood up and glared back at her would-be killers. The wolves dispersed. Or a healthy bull who uh, ran off alone when he sensed wolves, making himself an easy target for no apparent reason. Researchers now believe that there is a kind of primal language going on. I am death, the wolf says. Are you ready to go? Hmm. And the victim, by its actions, says, yes, I am ready, or no, you will not take me now. What if their prey doesn't know the language of death? This is a big problem, particularly for the wolves. When wolves come across domesticated animals who do not know how to play the game, they're confused. 
They start slaughtering and uh, they have no sense for when to stop. That is why farmers have hunted wolves to extinction in most parts of the world. Well, that certainly gives me something to think about. <laughs> All right. Might have exhausted what we could talk about with Air Doctor. Yeah. The doc's definitely got a thing for wolves. <laughs> so do you. I don't see anything in the bookcase but German textbooks. Air Doctor's coat. Record these in different environments. Air Doctor's. Looks like office equipment back there. Guess that's all we got out of here, anything? Yeah. The doc's definitely got a thing for. And think of what else to ask him. That's me, Gabriel. <laughs> all right. I'm not that far off. All right. Fair enough. Thank you for your time, Doctor. Ooh, not at all. So, we recorded all of that. Now, there is something we have not done yet, which is a little sneaky here. Let's see. So, now that we got the doc on tape, I think... Klingman. I have to load a tape first. Missing wolves along... We'll choose victims. So, you're in charge of the zoo's mammal division? Yes. What kind of training do you need for that, Doc? I was speaking with one of your boys out front, uh... Uh, Greg, was it? No, there's no Greg on staff here. Do you mean Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, right. Ask anyway, he's the one that said to talk to you. Because I was wondering if there was any way I could get a closer look at one of the wolves. For research? I am afraid this is not possible. We don't show our wolves to anyone. We must protect what privacy the creatures have. Really? Well, gosh. <sighs> Guess that's that. So, you're... I see you're particularly interested in wolves. Alright. So... We can splice these somehow. I need to I need to pick a tape first. If I'm gonna do a splice, I'll need two tapes loaded. Take that and if I'm gonna do a splice, I'll Alright, so uh, that can be uh, A. That can be B. I don't wanna overwrite what's on that tape. Alright, take a new tape. Not a bad idea. But I should go somewhere more private first. All right. I'm hip. I'm hip, uh, Gabriel. Where might that be? <laughs> Doctor, would you mind stepping outside? I need to splice some tape so that I can... Oh, Mr. Knight. Gain access to somewhere you don't want me to go. That's a good point, though, Beck. He asks him a million questions about wolves and then judges the man for an interest in wolves. Uh, I can go back to the farm in that case. All right, no one away from the prying ears of the Germans. So let's see. Load Klingman, and then like that. Horizon Reckonate's title. Okay, let's see. Maybe take those. I I guess I need to like pick particular words. Cuz we need to basically be able to play this back to get permission to see the wo I don't know how, how smooth this is going to be. Like, Thomas, this is... Yeah. Air, air, hold on. Air, Dr. Klingman here. I don't think that's what I need. So we need a bit more. Come in here. 
Thomas. Show Thomas, show our wolves. I don't think Come that's on, that's what pretty I good. Here, Dr. Coomer here. Thomas, show our wolf. <laughs> Did he mention me at some point? To Mr. Knight. I don't think that's what I need. <sighs> Is this just like a matter of like the order of things? Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. Maybe, can I get, can I just like get rid of like one little bit here? Do we need to start with Thomas? Thomas. Air doctor here. Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. This is gonna sound so janky. Thomas. Dr. Klingman here. <laughs> Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. Yes! Oh, I love it. Alright. So do we have that now? What do we... Where do we... Which tape is that? Is that part of my inventory now? Oh, I think I saw tape in my inventory. Klingman splice tape. Okay. Alright. I was hoping for him. Sneaky, sneaky. I love it. Back to the zoo, everybody. But let's use our keys instead of the uh, tape. Things aren't that different here in Germany. All right. Back to the zoo. Quite proud of that. Where's that guy now? Oh, no, wait, don't leave, don't leave. Where's Thomas? Thomas? Air Doctor here, show our thing to Mr. Knight. Show our wolves. Does he just show up once we watch the wolves for a bit? Hmm. If I could get some wolf hair, I could compare it with the hair from the farm. That's right, where is the wolf hair that we... that we grab? It's her wallet. <laughs> the paw print cast. Uh, if we put it in the envelope. Just looks like reddish hair to me. I'm gonna need help analyzing it. Well, that's red hair. These are clearly not red mm. wolves. If I could get some wolf... Yeah. Well, anyway. Maybe we could head back and he'll stop that us. That must be the entrance to the wolf habitat. No. Maybe he's... In here? Where are you? Oh, oh, heck yeah. Now we can go through all of Air Doctor's possessions. He's a wolf. Oh, no, no, it's just a piece of paper. Very natural, Gabriel. I like it. Anything on his desk? <sighs> that suspenseful music for nothing? Klingman's back there. Oh, interesting. Okay. And we didn't get, what did we get while we were here? Business card, tape recorder. I don't see anything in the book. I don't see anything in the, I don't see anything in the bookcase but German textbooks. A walkie talkie. <gasps> didn't, a walkie talkie. Didn't Thomas have one like that? Oh, should we play our tape? Sorry, it's in our inventory now. I mean, I feel like he'll hear this, and this is a bet we should probably save, actually. Hold up. What are you doing in my office? Just saving? Call this office. 
Did that take? Sure did. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's play that tape over the walkie. Klingman's receipt. Interesting. I don't know if I should look at that now. There we go. Snaky. Not the best place to do it, but whatever. Thomas? Thomas? Yeah, Thomas here. Herr Dr. Klingmann here. Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. Yeah, okay, Herr Doctor. Champion. <laughs> He's quite pleased with himself, you can tell. All right, let's not, oh, okay. Mr. Knight? I'm afraid I was just about to leave. Oh, that's all right. Perhaps another day. Perhaps. Good luck with your work, Mr. Knight. After you. Good luck finding that receipt, Air Doctor. Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Knight. I have orders to show you one of the wolves. Yes. Really? That would be swell. Yeah, please stay calm and go slow. They don't like strangers. Finally, access. This is a special treat I use to make them come to me. They love it. Marguerite, come here. Come all here, Machen. Okay. <clears throat> Marguerite, schau mal, was ich hier hab. No way, he's the hunter. Come all here. Go near that guy. Screw that noise. Oh, okay. Aww. Hey, Marguerite. Hey, girl. Good girl. Ah, how strange she likes you. I have a way with women. <laughs> with that extra. Aw. Ah, what's this tag here? A dog tag, if you will. He's wearing a tag. All the wolves here wear them. Get some hair. Don't do that. Stop that at once. Sorry. <laughs> Just couldn't help myself. Uh-oh. Uh Hope you get more of those treats, Thomas. <laughs> it was behind the gate, wasn't it? You should not have done that, Mr. Knight. She seems so tame, just like a dog. Wolf is not dog, Mr. Knight. Sorry, really. Yeah. Well, I'm just a at dumb least American. nothing happened. Are you done here now? Yeah, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll put in a good word for you with Klingman. Oh, wunderbar. <laughs> All right, let's compare these two. Thankfully we have envelopes for every wolf that we come across in this game. Can we like, look at this. This is the zoo hair, mind you. Hair for Marguerite. It's gray. Alright. Doesn't match. Glad we did that. 
Um, oh, we should check out whatever we get. We get Klingman's receipt. There's some carbon on the back, but I can't make out what it says. Hmm. There's some carbon on the back. There's some car All right. Fair enough. I guess this Klingman's is good. office is locked. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here now. Uh. Back to the farm. I can't like walk anywhere unless it's a certain direction or area off screen. All right, where is our? I don't think the Ubers want me in their private. <laughs> Always necessary. It's not what I had in mind. I had something different in mind. Let's try this again. Oh. Kona glitch A rich half chad lodge. 54 Dean of Strasse. Got us a new address, people. Let's head on out. So glad they included that hair sweep in the game. He knows he has glorious hair. I do wonder what brand he uses. Uh, did we get a new address? It's the police station we have access to. No, I guess we... Huh. Let's head back. Marian Platz. See if there's anything else missed around here. Here's our uh anything else we want to talk with our uh, the the attorney guy here. Alright. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Have a seat, please. How are you? Like your taste in help there. Uh, forget this guy's name. Do you know anyone with a background in animal biology? Animal biology for your research? Right. Hmm, let me think. Um, I have one client who's a professor at the university. Uh, maybe he knows someone there. L let me check. Don't say, Klingham. <laughs> you count all the hair sweeps. Yeah, Herr Dr. Speigel, bitte. Herr Dr. Speigel? Ja, wie geht's Ihnen? Ich bin's, übergrau. Mhm. Ich bräuchte den Namen eines Experten in Tierbiologie. Oh. Das könnte funktionieren. Ja? Ja, sehr gut. Recht herzlichen Dank. Ihnen auch. Uh, auf Wiederhören. Adieu. So. <laughs> Kurt, there is a lab at the University Biology Department. They may be able to help you there. Excellent. Just tell them Herr Dr. Speigel sent you. Sounds great. Thanks. Glad we came back. What is a jagshin, jagshine? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. He's enjoying yeah, me sure. trying to speak uh, it German. It's a permit for killing animals, you know, a sport. Hunter's license. You mean hunting? It's a hunting license? Yes, hunting license. What would a zoo official want with a hunting license? It's a little strange. Sorry, just thinking out loud. 
Have you ever heard of Deconaglitch? Ubergrau. Bay Rich Hofjad Lodge? Uh, Königlich Bayerische Hofjagdloge. Hmm, uh, no, it sounds like a men's sport club. What does the name translate to exactly? Oh, the Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge, more or less. A hunting lodge, huh? Well, well. This guy's got some extracurriculars that uh are quite puzzling. We'll see how that pans out. I don't have anything else to say right now. This is very awkward. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I guess I'd better get going. Thank you again, Uber well, Grau. Enjoy your stay. This guy's been helpful. I hate it when people mess with things on my desk. Ridiculous arranged. Alright, so we now have... Oh, there's the biology lab that he called in for us. The police station, I guess. Do we still not have a, an address on the, uh, the hunting lodge? Let's peek up around Manny and Platz again. I know last time when I was playing this, we wa kind of wandered around a bit, but... Let's see if anything else has opened up since then. So we can kind of walk around this time. Yeah, okay. Just not on the farm for whatever reason. He's in here. Oh, this is when he looked up at the uh, architecture. Yeah, we saw this. That must be the famous Munich glockenspiel. Yep. Must be. She almost seems to be watching me. Creepy. Holding a man baby. Goes over this way. that take me back the way I came? Alright, so that's interesting. So down and left both lead to the same area, best I can tell. But we also have this bit up here. Alright. I think we did come back here or not. And alright, so that's back the way we came. Set up the street here. We're now in Dienerstrasse. Huh? 54 Dienerstrasse. The Kona Glitch Bay Rich Pathjad Lodge. 54 Dina Stress. There we go. That's the place right there. Hunting Lodge. What's up, DC? He's going to be shocked to see us here. If he's here. Entschuldige Sie bitte, aber das ist ein privater Club. Uh, Guten Tag. Um, we get. Oh God, you have mistakenly entered a private establishment. Uh, this is the Kona Glitch Bay Rich Hofter Lodge, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do you have business here? Maybe? That vest. Oh my goodness. Do you know here Dr. Klingman? I do not discuss whom I do or do not know. This is a confidential establishment. Hmm. This guy's not impressed by us. The old Gabriel Knight charm's not doing its work right now. You wouldn't be in the market for a taxidermist, would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Worth a shot. My name's Gabriel Knight. I'm an avid hunter. I was given your name by a friend. Really? Tell me more. Uh, well, me and the boys back home, <laughs> we're always out shooting them pesky animals. I thought I'd look you up while I was in town, you know, uh, get a few pointers. 
<laughs> well, that warms my heart, but I'm afraid you were misled. This is a very exclusive club. We only accept members of very prominent German families. Hmm. Dead end. <laughs> I'll give it up, Gabriel, but I kind of want to see how this goes. You uh, mentioned the terms of your membership. I am a member of a prominent German family. Oh, and what family might that be? My grandfather was one of the Ritters of Rittersburg. All right. Ritter, I've heard of the name. Can you prove you're a direct descendant? You're not going to just take my word for it? No. Do you have proof? Heck yeah, we got proof. We got the, um... We got some letters. We got a mail, by the way. Not the time. Um, the uh, my wallet. That wouldn't impress this guy. Fair enough. Oh, we have the letter. That wouldn't impress it. All right, all right. Um, to us. I mean, I thought I mentioned something. That wouldn't impress this. This guy's not easily impressed. The talisman. This guy wouldn't know anything about the talisman. All right. Well, might have to come back when we have a bit more to show this guy. We might need a very convincing splice on this guy, I have to say. All right, fine. That's all the time I'll waste on you, Mr. Knight. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. I think the lawyer does have proof. We'll check back in with him. And that guy loves throwing people out. You can just tell. Anything else we can click on? Now I'm like wondering what other uh, establishments we might have missed out clicking on. Oh, the post office. I was just saying, we need to check. Mail some letters. What should I mail? Gabriel to Grace. Better mail that letter to Gracie. Yeah. We'll come back with proof. Most epic music of the game for posting a letter. Hey, one point for sending out that letter. That's nice. All right. Well, we got more leads to follow up on right now. <laughs> yeah, if I had some cash to give that guy, we could get our honor up very quickly, I can imagine. <laughs> but I do not have any, unfortunately. Let's check out the lab. Maybe uh, we can compare the hair and show the sample print that we got. Can I help you? Hi, is there someone here that speaks English? I speak English. Uh, were you looking for the biology lab? Huh? Yes, my name is Gabriel Knight. I was recommended to you by Herr Dr. Spiegel. Ah, yes, uh, my name is Michael. I'll do the work for you whenever you're ready. Heck yeah. Let's chat a bit first. I need to show him what I've got. Or not. All right, forget the pleasantries. So let's just... Bust out the hair. Could you analyze this hair? Hmm. Definitely, Mr. See. Tomato. I'd love to play the whole series. I'm just going out of order at this point. I'm really enjoying. Hmm, what, uh, what kind of hair is this? Well, I was kind of hoping you'd tell me. Uh, probably I can. It's K9, I think. Gray. The tips are lighter, which indicates something with a thick undercoat. Hmm? Can you identify the species? Let me see. Yeah. This guy knows his wolf hair. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hair sweep. Drink. Hmm. <laughs> it's not dog hair. It looks more like wolf. Very good. Uh huh. See, I came to the right place. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is. Canis lupus lupus. European wolf. Terrific. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Impressive. Now try this hair on for size. Could you look at this hair sample now? This might be yeah. a stumper. Hmm. What if it's gray wolf hair, but it's been stained with blood or something? Ah, this is not the same as the other hair. Never mind. It isn't. No, uh, very different. Maybe wolf though. Same as the other, but not the same species. Not the same species, are you sure? Let me see. Google of the yeah. 90s, everybody. Mm. Mm. It's definitely not Canis lupus lupus. It doesn't match any of the other wolf species in the book either. It's not dog hair. So, what is it? It could be, um, how do you say, a uh, mix-up? A mix-up? You mean a hybrid? Hybrid. Oh, is that when the wolf and the dog? Uh, yeah? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. More finger yeah, gestures. Could be a hybrid, maybe. Wolf, dog, uh, two wolf species. A wolf and something else. Otherwise, I'm not sure. It's more wolf than dog, but it doesn't match any species in the book, you see? I see. Thanks. Hmm. Something to think about. A wolf got it on with something. That narrows it down. Let's finish off with the paw print cast that we collected from the farm. Could you look at a paw print for me? Sure, okay. He's like, ah. God, this is heavy. What is this, cement? Uh, it's all out of plaster Paris. <laughs> A little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Gabriel, give the man a yeah. couple minutes here. Wolf? Really, can you tell what species? It is impossible to tell from a print, uh, except... Except? Yeah, I thought so. It is very big for a wolf, very big. Looks like uh, maybe 68, 70 kilograms. And that's big for a wolf? This is huge. Most wolves don't weigh so much as they look. The hair is thicker, which makes them look bigger. But that's why I checked the book. Most species don't get so big. How big does Canis lupus lupus get? On average, uh, 38 to 40 kilograms. Uh, North American wolf, 35 kilograms. Uh, only the Alaskan timber wolf maybe gets so big. But even for that species, 70 kilograms would be huge. Could a um, hybrid get that big? Sure. A hybrid uh, might be bigger than a wolf. The other species were big, a uh, very big dog, uh, perhaps. See, the paw print looks like a wolf, but that doesn't mean the whole animal looks like a wolf. Very interesting. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't exactly narrow it down. Want to turn those off? Reminds me of biology classes. Except I never took biology classes. What the hell does that mean, Gabriel? I don't know what else to show him. <laughs> Use your imagine. All right, let's get out of here. I can't even talk to the man. I have to go. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I should give you a report to take with you. Yeah. It summarizes my impressions of the two hair samples and the paw print. Yeah. Well, this just says F you. Great. That's right. Get out of here. It. Good luck, Mr. Knight. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess we have no reason to go to the police station. Yeah, let's try to get some proof of our lineage from uh, Uber Growl. Uber Growl, the attorney. Estate type. Yeah, this guy. I hope his uh, assistant shows us in again. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, hi. 
Have a seat, please. How are you? It's like, honestly, I don't have anything new to talk to you about. I just wanted to see your assistant. It's like, I understand. I need some papers. Would you say the Ritter family tree is respectable? <gasps> Absolutely. The Ritters can trace Germanic roots back a thousand years. Um, do you all have any paperwork on file that would prove that? Yes, we had to supply a family tree for the title transfer. Would you like a copy? Uh, please. Frau Hogel, können Sie mir bitte eine Kopie von dem Familienstammbaum der Ritters für Herrn Neid machen? Schönen Dank. This guy's the gift that just... It may take her a while to locate the file. Perhaps you could come back for it later in the day. That's fine. Oh. That's... I don't have anything else to say. Well, that's awkward. I don't have anything else to do, do I? I could go annoy that guy again. Did we talk to this lady? I don't think she speaks much English. Fair enough. Besides, she only wants to talk about white sausages. White sausages, you say? I'll have to keep that in mind. I don't know, is there any reason to go to the police station? We can check it out, I guess. Yeah. This is a no non- I can Ihnen behelflich sein. No nonsense. Tag, um, do you speak English? Nein, ich spreche kein Englisch. Finally. Was möchten Sie bitte? Great. Uh, Lieber. C Criminal Commissar Lieber. Is he here? <laughs> Commissar Lieber. <laughs> Wer möchte mit ihm sprechen? Wen? Sie sind? Sie. Me. Oh. Ja. Oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah. Right. Love the music here. Writer. You know, books. That's me. You know, books. That's yeah. me. Commissar Leber, bitte. Can er hier kommen? Tut mir leid. Commissar Leber ist zu beschäftigt. Er hat absolut keine Zeit. Nein! Er kann sie leider nicht sehen. Er ist zu beschäftigt. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, mein Herr. I know that word. Die Tour. Right, thanks. Bitte. Amerikaner. <laughs> Finally. Someone who does not speak English. I guess, yeah, I guess we could buy some sausage while we wait. I don't know. Is that actually something we should try doing? I do have my wallet, don't I? Yeah, we do. Let's buy some sausage. Once we get closer. I'm not much in the mood for meat at the moment. Maybe later. I'm not much in the mood. Has it been long enough? Do I need, I don't, it must be somewhere else we should be going during this. I don't know if it's just a matter of like leaving the office for a bit and coming back. Tja, das vereinbaren sie dann am besten mal mit meiner Sekretärin. Gut, ja, danke. Mr. Knight, um, I have those papers you wanted. Ah, okay. Oh. That was easy. Right here. <sighs> wow. Thanks a lot. No problem. Is there anything else you need? I think that's it. I don't have anything else. I could say thank you. Well, I guess I'd better get going. Well, enjoy your stay. Every time. All right. Going back to that private club and talking to that snooty doorman. Dropping the proof bomb on him. No reason to rush. Want to savor the anticipation of this proof bomb. Take your time, Gabriel. Towards the sights. 
All right, yeah, I do notice we're in a different part of town here. There, the post office is there. Got to remember that. And this is the private club. 54, 54 Dina Strass. All right. <laughs> it's true. Everyone in this game does have nice hair. Hi. You again? What is it now? <laughs> Well, I just had a little visit with my attorney. I tell you, I am a Ritter of Rittersburg. And I tell you, I need proof. Don't make that face. That's what we just got. Family pet. Should we look at these first? The old family tree does go back a ways. The old family... I guess that's all we got. All right. That's all we need. Here you go. I see. Well, I must congratulate you. I had no idea. Your family owns Schloss Ritte in Rittersburg? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, we do. Well, I'm sorry if I have been rude for an American, an American of your type. Well, I bow to your lineage, Herr Knight. <laughs> Think nothing of it, uh... Old man. <laughs> when do we get started? <laughs> it's Xavier, sir. And I'm afraid we don't. Having the proper papers is only the beginning. You must still be invited to join by a current member. Wait a minute. You told me you wanted a family tree and I got you one. I don't appreciate being strung along like some poor relation. Might I interrupt? I couldn't help but over here. Xavier. Are you bullying our guest? Entschuldige Sie bitte die Unterbrechung, aber er besteht darauf, mit Ihnen zu sprechen. Er gehört zur Ritter's Family von Rittersburg. You are a member of the Ritter family? Of Rittersburg, Bavaria? Damn yes. right. What used to be Bavaria anyway? Well, it will always be Bavaria to us. Might I see those papers? Mm, I see. Well? You must tell me all about how you ended up in America, Herr Ritter. <laughs> and about your hunting there. You are a hunter, are you not? It's night now. Gabriel Knight. And yeah, I hunt. Absolutely. Very good. Gabriel Knight. Gabriel. Like the angel. Join us. My name is von Glover. Baron Friedrich von Glover. But Baron! Knight is right. We mustn't be so stuffy. I'm formally inviting him. Come. Uh -huh. Speaking of perfect Meet hair, by the way. Chin up, Saver. <laughs> That's a good man. Owned. Ich möchte das nicht hier mit Ihnen besprechen. Ich bitte um Entschuldigung. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Her Knight. <laughs> Her Knight is a hunting enthusiast from America. He will be joining us for a while as my guest. It will give us a chance to stimulate our language skills and perhaps our brains as well, no? Let me introduce you. Her Knight, this is Baron von Zell. Herr Dr. Klingman, we've met. I'll be darned. Small world, hey, Doc? <laughs> The distinguished gentleman at the bar is Herr von Eigner. A pleasure, Herr Knight. Next to him, Herr Hahnemann. Guten Abend. English Herr Hahnemann. We want to be hospitable. <laughs> Herr Hahnemann is a politician, and they always try to get away with things. <laughs> you must be firm. Don't forget about me. And this is our Herr Price. I'm by far the best of the group. Very interesting. Whoa. Very nice. Germans. Guy's coming on a little strong. Well, it's nice to meet all of you. Hopefully we'll be uh, hunting together soon. That sounds so physical. Right now, there are more relaxing activities, like drinking beer, right, Herman? <laughs> Good idea. Shall we? 
Paul, how nice some beer, Hanuman. Mm, Bavarian stout. Or perhaps you would care for wine instead. Beer is fine. And he drinks beer too, it's wonderful. Tut mir leid, Sie zu unterbrechen, Herr Baron. Aber ich muss leider gehen. You may go if you wish, Karl. I should leave too, Baron. I have work. Good night to you all. My God, I never thought I'd see the day when two good Germans walk out on two full mugs of Weizen beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have your vices, and I have mine. I'm afraid to say so, gentlemen, but I have an appointment in a few minutes. Baron, my lord and master, good night to you. Good night. I am intrigued. <laughs> And I don't swing that way, man. That guy is coming on. I must apologize for a night. Apparently, this is not the best evening for a new arrival. You've been very kind. I'm kind of tuckered out myself, actually. Perhaps I could uh, come by tomorrow. Oh, please do. We normally meet here in the evening. But you may come here anytime you wish. I'll inform Sam. Better privileges. Take my card. It has my home address. If you care to chat, come by. Thank you. Man. Good night. Everybody's coming after Gabriel. Gentlemen, it's the hair, man. Good I don't blame him. Uh, schlaf gut. I get lost in it, too. Oh, wait a minute. Also. Yeah. Bellen? Yep. I'm the. Uh, yeah. And then. Um, Sie geht. Huh.